Hi English learners, uh, today I'm going to talk about Wordy Wise, book 5, lesson 1, okay? So this book teaches vocabulary and usually kind of school vocabulary. So these words are really good uh, that you can use in your class, okay? So lesson 1, first thing I'm going to do is pronounce the words, okay? How to say these words and then talk about them, how to use them, okay? So you might want to get your piece of paper like this. Okay, and then you can write on the piece of paper, okay? So number one, accustom, accustom, alert, alert, assign, assign, budge, budge, early, early, companion, okay? So companion, okay? The dictionary may be eon, but we always say companion, okay? Companion. Compatible, compatible. Okay, concept, concept. Distract, distract. Jostle, jostle. So the T, the T is quiet, okay? So jostle, jostle. Obedient, obedient. Obstacle, obstacle. Patient, patient, so be careful the T sound, okay? Patient, pedestrian, pedestrian, okay? Pedestrian, and retire, retire. Okay, so um, one more time real quick, okay? Accustom, alert, assign, budge, early, companion, compatible, concept, distract, jostle, Obedient, obstacle, patient, pedestrian, and retire. Retire, okay? So we're going to look at word number one, accustom. Okay? So accustom. Um, it means you you slowly have a habit. You have a habit uh, in a new place, okay? So, for example, maybe I have a job, and the job starts at 9 a.m. So every day I wake up at 8 a.m. I wake up, brush my teeth, have a shower, Go to, go to my job. But now I have a new job and the job starts at 6 a.m. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, So is we, we say I grew accustomed to my new job. Okay, Grew accustomed to it. So we often say this. Grew or got accustomed to. Oh, my, speak, my paper is too small. Grew or got accustomed to. Okay, lots of words there. We say grew accustomed to. I got accustomed to. Okay, so that's very common. So um, if you move your house to a very cold place, we'll say I grew accustomed to the weather. The weather, okay? Um, if someone's very old, maybe 40 years old, and they get married, get married, but 40 years not married, now they live together. They say, grew accustomed to the new life, okay? Grew accustomed to the husband, or grew accustomed to the wife, okay? So we say, grew or got accustomed to, okay? Um, as well, um, we can also say, um, he accustomed himself, okay? So, he accustomed himself to something, something, something. So, he accustomed himself to the new schedule. He accustomed himself to the new boss, like that, okay? So, it means you get, get used to something, okay? So, accustomed. Um, good, good, good. Um, it has another meaning, uh, the adjective, accustomed place, okay? It just means the normal place, okay? The usual place, okay? Um, yeah, so here it says, we sat, we sat in our accustomed places. It means the typical, the normal places, okay? Second word is alert. Alert, okay? If it's an adjective, you say he's very alert. Maybe someone is very tired, and then they drink strong coffee, like this, and then all of a sudden they're, mm -hmm. no. They're very alert, okay? It means they're very watchful, and they're very awake, and they're looking for things, okay? So if you're a guard, 
maybe you're guarding the king, okay? You have to be very alert. It's kind of like, who goes there? Okay, you're very alert. Dogs are very alert, some dogs. Some dogs, if there's a small sound, the dogs will be like, what? Like this. These are alert, very alert dogs, okay? So that's the adjective. The verb, the verb means you warn somebody, okay? So we can say, like, if some weird person knocks on your door, like, blah, 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 blah. and you're like, go away, go away, and then they go away. But maybe you should phone the police, okay? So you alert the police to the bad man. Alert somebody to the danger, okay? Maybe in your school, someone's like, Daryl, 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 where's your friend? Where's Tom? And then I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where Tom is. And then the bad guy, the bad guy goes away. And then I find Tom, then I find Tom. I say, Tom, Tom, the bad guy, he wants to hurt you. I alerted Tom to the bad guy, okay? Alerted to, okay? Um, or maybe I have a math class in the morning, I have a math class, and the teacher is really angry, okay? And then after my math class, your friend has the math class. So you tell him, be careful, be careful. The math teacher is angry. I alerted my friend to the math teacher, okay? So this is the verb. And then a warning signal, okay? So an ambulance, an ambulance behind you. Wee -oo, wee -oo. This is a warning signal, okay? It is a, an alert. It's saying to you, be careful, be careful. I'm gonna go fast, okay? So this is an alert. Number three is assign, okay? A teacher will assign homework, okay? Um, the teacher will say, this is your homework. Please give it to me in one week. I assigned Wordly Wise, okay? Lesson one, I assigned it, okay? The teacher assigned too much homework, okay? Um, you can also use this for sports, okay? So the, you will say, the coach assigned me to shooting guard in basketball, okay? Um, the coach assigned me to, oh, pitch. I will be the pitcher, okay, in baseball. So this is a sign. And then you have an assignment, assignment, okay? That's the noun. Homework, you say, oh, today I got homework. Or you say, today I got one assignment, okay? Homework cannot count. So we don't put S on homework. But assignments, you can put an S on assignments. I have a math assignment and an English assignment. I have two assignments, assignments, okay? Budge. Budge, I mean move a little bit, okay? So maybe this computer is not very good, so I budget a little bit, okay? Push, 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 okay? If your brother or sister is on the sofa, but the space is really small, say, hey, budge over, budge over. It means move a little bit, like this, okay? This is budge. Or if we push a door, but oh, we say, it didn't budge. It means it didn't move, okay? Maybe something very heavy. Is behind the door. Okay, budge. Burly. Burly is a big, strong, usually a man, okay? Muscles, and you look at him and you're a little bit scared. Maybe very nice, but really strong and big, okay? A football player or a basketball player can be very burly, okay? Or if you're the president, the president, very important person, behind them, the him or her, will be the bodyguard. Okay, and usually the bodyguard for the president is very big, tough guy. So you say, oh, those two are very burly, burly, big guys, okay? Companion. Companion means friend. Friend, okay? Um, but we often use the word like travel, companion, um, uh, someone who goes with you on your travels, okay? Um, yeah, shopping companion, that's fine. We use the word companion a lot to talk about dogs. We say, oh, that dog is so good. Yes, he's a good companion. Without the dog, I'll be lonely. So the dog is my companion. So it means my friend, okay? Someone who spends time with me. Hmm. Compatible. Compatible means they work together. They work together, okay? So um, I have a marker, okay? And I have a pen. But this cap, 
is not very compatible. It doesn't stay on there, okay? So they don't work together very well. But this cap and this marker, like here, is compatible. It works well together, okay? So um, maybe there's a smart person in your class and you, English learner, are very smart. And the teacher goes, oh, smart person with smart person. You can have a group. But actually, this person and this person, you, you fight. So we say we're, we're not very compatible, okay? I want to do it. I want to do it. My way is better. My way is better. Ugh. You, these two people are not very compatible. They shouldn't be together, okay? So compatible. We do talk about compat compatibility, okay? So computer parts. Maybe a computer part works for this computer, but that computer, it doesn't work. So it's not compatible. Concept. Concept. It means like an idea. Idea, okay? So, what are you going to do for your next vacation? I have no idea. Really? No idea? Well, I'd like to go to Europe. Okay. That's the start of your of your trip. That's the concept, okay? You kind of know what you want, okay? Distract. Distract is similar to the word interrupt. Okay, so if you're learning and then someone knocks on the door, hello, hello, they are distracting you. Okay, that person is distracting you. They are interrupting your class. So they use it, we use it a little bit different. He distracted me. He interrupted my class. Okay, so distract is a verb, distraction is a noun. Okay, interrupt is a verb, interruption is a noun, okay, but make sure you learn how to use this. They distracted me. They distracted our class. They distracted our meeting, okay, also very common. Jostle. It says here in Wordly Wise to push or shove, but it's not very good. Pushing is like this, okay. Jostling is more kind of like using your elbow and going forward, like, um, uh, if, if the store opens and there's a big sale and they have one TV, big TV, for $10 and everybody wants it, okay? And the doors open and everyone's like, me, me, me. They're jostling, jostling, okay? Maybe on the subway, you can jostle or something like that. Um, it's not push like this, but more kind of get back, get back. This is jostling somebody, okay? Not very nice. Obedient. Obedient means you listen to, to people. Listen to your mom, listen to your teacher. It means you obey. Okay? So a verb is obey. Okay? Obey somebody. If you obey somebody, it means you listen to somebody. It means you are obedient. Okay? So if, if your mom says, listen to your grandma, Listen to your grandma. It means your grandma says, time for bed, go to bed. Grandma says, wash your hands, you wash your hands. You listen to grandma. You obey grandma. It's the same. Okay? Now, if you obey, 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 you are obedient. Very obedient, okay? The, the opposite is usually the word naughty. Naughty, okay? Naughty. Okay, this T, sometimes we say with a D sound, naughty, naughty. Oh, he's very naughty, okay? You can say naughty also, but when we're speaking fast, we usually say naughty. Oh, that dog is very naughty. Come here, dog, come here. And the dog, arr, 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 and goes away, okay? That dog's very naughty. But that dog, you say, come here, dog, and the dog, and comes. That dog is very obedient, obedient, okay? So very obedient. Obstacle, something that's blocking you, okay? So maybe there's a windy day, and the tree push, falls on the road. It's an obstacle, okay? The cars have to go, the cars have to drive around the tree, okay? It's an obstacle. So it's something that's stopping people, okay? That's an obstacle. Sometimes we use this in an abstract way. So I have a friend who who's, finds it very difficult to read, okay? My friend, his 
His brain kind of changes things, and he doesn't read very well. So we say this is an obstacle for his school. Okay, so in this case, the obstacle is in, in their mind. Okay, if I want to move to Japan and find a job, English teacher maybe is okay, but if I want to go to Japan and find a job at a 7 Eleven, I can't speak Japanese. Okay, so we'll say my poor Japanese is an obstacle. Okay, it means it's stopping me, it's stopping me from getting a job. Okay, so that's an obstacle. Obstacle. Okay, uh, patient, patient. Okay, so if it's an adjective, it means you're waiting. You're waiting. The bus, the bus will be 10 minutes. Okay. I am very patient. Okay, but if you say the bus is 10 minutes, you're like, oh, 10 minutes. Oh, where is the bus? Where is the bus? Oh, where is the bus? This is impatient. Okay, impatient. So the opposite is impatient. Okay, impatient. I want you to be very patient. Patient, okay? So patient. Second meaning. Second meaning is a noun, okay? Patient, patient. Um, this is someone who's sick and the doctor is helping them, okay? So if you go to the hospital, there's usually three people. There's the doctor, the nurse, and the patients. The patients are the sick people, okay, um, in the hospital. So I don't want you to be a patient in the hospital, okay? Um, yes, yes, okay? And the noun is patience. Have some patience, okay? Two more, two more words, okay? This one is pedestrian. Now, in old, old European languages, ped, P-E-D, means foot, foot, okay? So we have words like pedal. Pedal. We have words like pedicure. Pedicure, okay? This is when they make your feet look beautiful, your toes and stuff like that, okay? Um, the ped means foot. And a pedestrian is someone who walks, okay? Someone who's walking. So maybe over there you'll say, oh, there's a lot of pedestrians this morning. Maybe beautiful weather, and lots of people walk to school. So, you, oh, there are many pedestrians, people walking. Okay? Or sometimes you see on the news something terrible, and a car is going too fast, and the car hit a pedestrian. Pedestrian, okay? Some cities will have a pedestrian bridge. Okay? It's a bridge just for people walking. And they go over the road, and then down and they can go to work, okay, without stopping the cars. This is a pedestrian bridge. Retire, okay? Retire means stop working, okay? If I win the lottery, the lotto, I will retire, okay? Um, but probably I will retire when I'm 65, okay? So that's number one, retire. Second meaning, also a verb, um, it, it's an older meaning. It means go to bed. Okay, so we say, I retire at 8 p.m. every day. Okay, this one's not used very much anymore. But if you read older books, they'll still do it. And when I lived in Australia and England, I heard this a lot more. So maybe in Canada, we don't use this very much. Okay, but retire means go to bed. Oh, oh I'm so tired. You should retire. Okay, you should retire early today. It means go to bed. And last word is retirement, okay? That's when you stop working, okay? So my parents retired. My parents retired 10 years ago. They enjoy their retirement. Their retirement, okay? Okay, do the work in the book and prepare for a test, okay? So the test will be not so hard, okay? Um, but you can do it. You can do it. You have to know all the the ways to, to use the verbs, or uh, use the words, okay? So a word like alert has an adjective, a verb, and a noun. You have to know them all. Retire has two verbs, two verbs, but different meaning, okay? Stop working, go to bed, okay? So you have to know all the meanings for the test. Work hard, students. Bye-bye.